Good morning, everybody. This is Christina with Kilburn's Creations. I want to work on some cards today. So, oh, we'll see how that goes. These are going to be very, very simple cards. Anybody can do. Um, one of these rules is first. those over there so that you get an idea of what I am working with I do have my small glue gun with the long nozzle trip uh, tip on it so much easier than the short trip that's for my daughter she'll make those into earrings and I've got the Tompo glue I've got two sizes of the um, double stick tape I've got my fine line glue, which I'm going to put over here so it stays upward. Um, I got some flowers here from uh, Joann's. They're having a quick sale today. And uh, for the price, you can't really beat it. When you, all you got to do is take your plastic pieces out and just put a gemstone in the center. Here's on a gold one though, I think. What happened to the gold ones? I know I had gold ones over here. Here we go. Couldn't find no yellow. But the gold kind of looks good. That's kind of what the hard plastic is anyways. But I like to take these apart. And if you cut this off really close and pull this back, it pops right off. And then you want to open up your flower and pull these out. So that and that can go in the garbage. So then, and then I got this plastic piece here too. So you can have them all come out. It flattens them out a little bit. And put a gemstone in it and it's a nice kind of flat 3d flower for your card or your albums um, even for your sh uh, shabby chic they are fabric too so I bought a bunch of the buttons or buttons I bought a bunch of the pinks and whites since this is the color of the cards I was using. And then I got some baby's breath. And this right here is quite simple to use too. So you can just pull this off the end. Gather all this up. Clip your end and put your hot glue and put it down and it can be the uh, filler. And then I keep cut the leaves. I'm going to take the plastic thing off the leaves. Oh, didn't need scissors for that. Yeah, I do need scissors. And then this can go. I'll just cut them off. And then when you put them on your card, one usually goes like this, and one's basic like that. And then you put your pretty little flower. And you put your baby's breath here and there. Add some more little flowers to it. So it's, it's, this part is easy. So what we are going to do first is, since the background of this paper is green, I am going to go with the light pink, I think. One, two, three. I only have two pink. 
one more pink. Oh. Okay, I guess I will do these in pink. Um, what would I do? How about if I use a white base card? So here's one. There's the scraps. Here already folded. One, one, two, three, four, so I got one, two, three, four, five, and we would just go ahead and Borrow this one here. Six. Okay, I hope you all saw my last video and saw how much fun I was having with coloring. Alcohol markers and colored pencils, uh, water coloring. We all know that I need practice. So instead, I'm going to do something totally different than what this magazine was doing. Okay. Since the papers, I'll go back here where it has all the papers. Okay. This one is mainly for a girly. Let's see. Now, if you can see, these papers and these papers are more for like a little girl. But over here we got the real pretty flowers. The flowers and all. And it's like half and half, so you had to cut these papers in half to get your colors. And then over here was four pages of the uh they're another word by call them embellishments. And um I popped all those out. And then yeah, I worked with the stamps and we already know what happened with the stamps. Um, the problem I had with this here is I'm wanting to make six cards that look alike. And with these embellishments here, they only give you one of each. So I'm going to be using that, their paper, because I really like their paper, but I'm using the embellishment set I got here. So this one here is your basic simple one. Let's move the coffee out of the way. Get that out of the way. Here's some more flowers. I got daisy paper too. It's for leaves if I need it. Put the leaves in here. So I've got the six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so what I want to do is completely cover this. Oh, I think I want a little bit of a white border. So this is four and a quarter. So I want to cut these at a four and an eight. So come this down. We got four and an eight right there. And then this one's going to be four and an eight also. Right there. Cut that strip off. That can go on your scrap. So 
So what we are going to do with this, set the rest of it to the side. We're going to have this on top of this. Uh, nope, I need to cut another eight off the top. That's five and a half. We want five and three eighths. that there like this. Okay. Let's take just a little bit more off. My room is not big enough. see more of the white there and then we're going to have I think I got already cut in half here this will go on top of that but I need to cut that down so this needs to be cut down to four inches This one be five and a quarter. And we have that down. So then I'm going to lay that down on top of that. Um, I think I want more pink. be seen. I'll take off just like another sixteenth maybe or an eighth. three and seven eighths. <sighs> yeah, that shows more pink. I like that much better. Okay, and then we're going to pick our flowers out. And we're going to pick out a couple leaves. There's one that I already cut. But I had another one that I already cut. These are going to be for the daisy ones. Okay, so what I want to do first of all 
is apply this to this. So we're going to need the Tombow glue. glue so if I have to I can pull it off in a hurry and reposition it. You can see better without my glasses too. Okay so next thing we're gonna do is my glue gun getting hot. ready and oh these are a little big let's see if I can find something else in this stuff maybe a couple ferns fern fern there's another fern Some little ones of these. Take some of those out too. There's a fern. There's one. That should be more than enough. Okay, so we're going to take this one and we are going to take it right about here. How about we bring it down more like that? Yeah, we'll do that. So then we will quickly. And then we want another one to go over here, but I'm going to turn it over. And put it on that side so the curve will go that way. Since these are roses, I really want to use more of the roses. There's that part. Take these apart. So there's one. Three layers. Let's see. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the hot glue. We're going to put it on the back of this flower here. Make sure there's no glue strings. And that one can go right there. Push it up a little bit. And we will take another one. And go around. Put a little glue on that. No strings. And see how I'm kind of overlapping them so the flower will still look nice and full and keep its poofiness. And then this one we will put right in here. I'm going to take one of these gold ones here and put a little glue in the middle of that flower. And I'm going to put this gemstone right on top of it, just like that. And then we can take a little bit of this baby's breath. That's already cut off, didn't it? Okay. So we'll cut this off here. here and here. Don't need this extra plastic stuff here. Or this one here. Okay, I'll just cut this one down. Just going to stick it over here like that so it has a little bit of proof to it. baby's breath there. See, I'm going to need some more. So, let's cut these three. And, oops. Oops. Now we're just going to turn the card and do the other side. Snip this off a little bit. Oh shit. There we go. Okay. One of the reasons why I do not like glue guns. Back when uh, I did crash and lots of ceramics, glue gun was the best thing we had. 
until it was time to store your holiday items away. Which we didn't think too much of. And then there was one time um, we had shows back to back so we just left the Suburban loaded. And uh, instead of unpacking it. And the sun would get the vehicle so hot that our stuff came apart. So we had to find another way to glue our stuff together. And back then I used the stuff they call snow for ceramics. It's one that does not have to be fired. There's a nice pretty little card. You can do it from the bottom or you could put it at the top. Now I'm not putting no sentiment on these yet until I figure out what I actually want to put on there. But I do want to put some foam tape on it. Because I want it to pop up a little bit. So let's go ahead and start with these ones. tape here, here, and here. Turn this around. Oh, those are the little tiny ones. We'll use those for something that's tiny. I'm going to need to invest in actually the phone tape itself. And then this one can go there, there, and there. Go ahead and put this stuff close but out of the way. So I got the phone tape on it like that. Ends. Oh, I did that one. This is my folded card. I think I want these ones down here in the bottom. And I'm going to get my head in the way here. Nope. I want it. Let's turn it this way. to do for the inside, I use regular computer paper, printing paper, that is writing on it, what about you, okay, and the card here is five and a half by four and a quarter, so you want this to be about a quarter inch shorter. 
So this one here is five and a half. We want to go down to five and a quarter. And then since we are going to be folding this in a half, we need it to be longer. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter. No, be four. So we want it by eight. Now these thin papers like this, I don't save. Then we take this. that in half and then I like to put them in the card I like it how it kind of gives it a, a liner look you put the fold here into the fold there and just drop it push this down like so fold and you know, make it like an eighth an inch from the ends line it up like that yeah I need to find something more stable than those squares that should have been all foamed because then after you get that when you open it it doesn't flap open yet so you just need like a little dot over here and close it So then you can put your sentiment on uh, Mother's Day is coming up, so you could Happy Mother's Day. You could use this for a cheer up card. Hope you get well. Best wishes. Um, sympathy. I'm so sorry so and so passed away. Um, just a note to let you know I was thinking about you. They can go for anything. That's why I'm not going to put the sentiments on them. I'm not going to put the sentiments on them until I decide exactly what I want to use them for. But it's a simple, quick, easy flower or card. So, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you learned something. And uh, like you to subscribe and like my videos. And what was the other? Um, oh, any questions or um comments please leave down below or email me at jr1934 at sbcglobal.net and you all have a good day